There's a saying that one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, that can be applied to the garden too. What some see as garden waste can, in fact, be garden gold. Of course, I'm talking about compost. Well, what is compost? Basically, it's all your garden and kitchen waste concentrated down into this fantastic black gold. What's it good for? Well, it can be added to any type of soil, sandy or clay. It brings in worms to help break it up, but it also binds it together and helps it hold on to water and nutrients. It does a lot for your garden, and it's pretty easy to make. I'll show you how. You may think you don't have the space for a compost bin, but there are actually lots of options out there. For a small garden, you can use a tumbler like this. It works really easily. You just put your ingredients in the top, close it up, and give it a spin to get some air into it. If you've got a courtyard, or even if you're in an apartment, you can use a kitchen top unit like this. You can put absolutely anything into these. There's sprays so they don't smell, and you simply harvest through the tap at the bottom. And this is the area I'm going to be building my compost in. It's quite large, so I can have a three-bay system. It's not going to be very attractive, so pick a good spot. You also want the right amount of sun, not full sun and not full shade. This gets morning sun, so it's perfect. You also need a nice solid base. You can use anything like concrete or bricks. I've just compacted some road base. For our three bay system, we're going to need something to hold all our compost in. You can use anything, really. You could build it out of brick. You could even use some tin, but I'm going for trusty old pallets. They're nice and cheap, they're easy to come by, and they're perfect because they allow airflow through. But because of the gaps to allow the air in, that also lets the compost out. So I'm just lining them with this Avery wire so we get the best of both worlds. Step one of building our bays is to get our back line in first. Now, I've already put in a couple of star pickets as my starting point, which I'll thread this over, and that's going to allow me to work out where the rest of the star pickets go. I'll bang them in and then put the sides on. Before I knock in my star picket, I'm going to screw it together with a bugle, just to keep the face nice and flat and the top nice and flush. Now, remember, we are working with pallets, but this does help a little bit. For our middle dividers, I've wrapped both sides in the Avery wire. That way, we're not going to get compost mixing in the middle of the pallet or with the other piles. Once you've got your bays built, it's time to get into cooking up some compost. And there's a general rule. You need 2 thirds brown stuff and 1 third green stuff. So what is the brown stuff? Well, the brown stuff is stuff like fallen leaves, like this. You could use some, some mulch or twigs from pruning. The green stuff is the end of your pruning, any clippings, any weeds, kitchen scraps, that sort of stuff. The smaller you dice it all up and put it together in your compost heap, the quicker it's going to go down into compost. You can add some accelerant, which we'll be doing, and you just mix it all up and leave it loose. You don't compact it down. You give it a good soak with a hose, and it's good to go. Now that's done, you can add to it with anything else that you want from the garden, but every two to three weeks, you need to turn it. So it's going to compost from the middle, and you want to take the composting stuff in the middle and get it to the outside. That means you're going to get air and water through the whole pile, which brings us on to bay two. You just use a simple fork and fork it over. Once that one's empty, you can start afresh. You can even do that into the third one, depending on how much compost you're making, but I'm actually going to save this third bay. All it is is fallen leaves. You put it on the ground, you soak it, and you leave it for 12 months. It's one of the first jobs I did in landscaping, and it makes the best mulch for rows, or you can just add it to a soil. If you don't have the space for a bay, you can use a simple bag like this one. You just ram in as many leaves as you can, put the hose in it, one puncher with the fork, leave it behind the shed for six months, and it works just as well.
couple of good tips for your compost heap are try and keep bread and meat out of it. It's only going to attract vermin. And if you're using something like grass clippings, that's really high in nitrogen, lots of green, you need to balance that out with some more brown stuff, and shredded newspaper is perfect for it. So if you follow all of these rules, you should have some good usable compost in about three months.